today we are at Volcano of the Bay. Making it on a time to go get our tattoo tattoos. It was very crowded on the buses this morning and we had to wait a little bit. We did have to go through security actually before we even got on the bus. Usually we do security here right before you get uh, your tapu tapu, but it was closed this morning. So we went through security before the bus, drove here, and then no security when we're here. We're just gonna get in line for our tapu tapus. See if we can even find a chair because it's very crowded. It's around noon probably right now on this Saturday. So it's gonna be a high of like 87 degrees. We're gonna go have some fun. They don't scan your finger anymore. They don't scan our finger? Oh no, yeah, they have face recognition here too. Yeah, last time we came, we still had the fingerprint here, but I guess they're doing away with that. I know some people it's quite frustrating because their fingerprint doesn't always work. Um, <laughs> but facial recognition, just like your phone, just boop. And then you can get on in um, to scan your card. Go have some fun. Fun. We're gonna go ride some family rides tonight. Yeah. Maybe eat some food. Is that like a what's that frog place? Nachos. Yeah, they have some really good nachos at that frog. What I don't even remember what it's called. The frog place. What frog? <laughs> Alright, so we just put our stuff down and we found some chairs um, where there's lots of space. Under here, under this slide, I can't remember what it's called, but our normal spot already booked up. So we chose another spot to put our stuff down today. And behind me, we had this super cute like photo op. It's found this really cute little photo op back here. Now you don't have to bring your own camera because they have these. You just little things here, that's a little camera right there. So you can stand over here, get your little photo taken with these little totem pole people. And go about your way. And it's just really cute. Like all you gotta do, use your tapu tapu, tapu it in right here. If you see, it has instructions right here. So you just tap in your little thing. I don't think this one's actually working right now, but they do. Yeah, this one's not working, but they do have some of these that you can just go over here, get your little picture taken. All right, so the first thing that we are coming up across, this is Ikamawana and Anu, and they are both a ride now. So you have to be at least this tall to ride. I believe it's like 48 inches or so. And then this tall to ride on your own, it might be like 54-ish, probably. But yeah, they're both ride now. And we're just going to keep walking along for a little bit. Gonna go across this bridge. All right, so we're going under this bridge now, and we're just gonna walk around a little bit, uh, see some things around the park, see if anything has changed. Now, I know I did tell you that in one of my previous videos that I made an entire Volcano Bay video and Mardi Gras and Universal Studios video, and then I lost my SD card. So there were some updates in that Volcano Bay video though. So I'm gonna go back to those places, it's been a month, so we'll see if those things have been updated and I'll tell you what I saw previously and if it has changed because there was some construction going on in like our favorite pool. And uh, so yeah, let's like walk around and see if anything is new here at Volcano Bay today in March. Today is March 9th, I believe, on this Saturday. So yeah, let's just walk around a little bit. All right, here's another little bridge with all these little froggies on it. It goes right above the Lazy River. So there it is, Lazy River fun. Up ahead, there are some lockers. This is near the back of the park, so usually these ones are less crowded, but it is very crowded today. So <laughs> let's continue walking around. All right, so here we are, right in front of Krakatel. And here's the time. Two hundred and forty-five minutes. Two hundred forty-five. Oh my goodness! 
yeah, that, that's a little bit of a time. No joke. But, I mean, it is the best wine in the park. So, there you go. And if you just keep going straight over here to the left, this will be one of the entrances to the volcano. There are three entrances, and this is one of them. Yeah, so just keep going up this trail, and we can go say hello to Ball. To the left, we have the Runamucca Reef, which is the little kitty area over there. And then to the right, you can have some views. See, they do have an elevator for Krakatel, but you need to tell the, um, the team members ahead of time if you're going to use it. Don't just walk up there the, and use it. You need to have permission. But right there, there's Krakatel. As it goes up and down, it's windy little path. Super fun, seriously the best. But yeah, as soon as you get on, you go down this little first little drop, and then back up, and you get lots of water splashed in your face the entire time. Lots of water in your face. So there is that, but it is very fun. So I do kind of recommend um, goggles. You can't have the ones that cover your nose, not allowed, but you can have the ones that just cover your eyes. So there's your little tip for me. All right, so you just keep wandering around over here through the little cabanas. So it's like a little private pathway over here. But yeah, here's one of the three entrances that you can go inside the volcano here at Volcano Bay. All the slides up above, all the winding and twirling, and we're gonna go inside. All right, switch to low light so we can see better. All right. See the projection on the wall over here. Usually a ball gets to talk to you and show some stories, but not right now. Taking a little break, so at least we have a little fountain for glowing and uh, popping up. So that's fun. All right, so if you're in this cage, you can go up here this way to another um, entrance and exit over that way, or you can go down this winding way. There's a entrance that way, and then you can go in um, and out that way too. So maybe there's four ways that you can go in and out of this volcano, not three. All right, so let's go winding around each of these little places here because one of them is where I wanted to show you some updates. All right, so this is the path where I'm actually going back behind well, the little fountains shooting up out of the water. This right here, you can go this way, you can go that way. It's the same little pathway and then my kids and my husband love to scare me across over here. Just scare me to death. And I usually just scream. Up here, it's loud, very windy. Here's the little tapu tapu. Woo! watch the little triply drop it because this camera is not waterproof. All right. And then over here on the other side, when you come out, this is where you have the two little kissing monkeys up there. Then this is still Krakatau. Look, somebody just went by. And then down below is the Fearless River. This is the faster river. Oh, they look like they're really moving and grooving. The last time we came here a month ago, it was slow. Like it was not having any of these water jets on at all. But it looks like they're having a lot of fun down there this time. Looks like they're going pretty fast. I do love that. All right, and then of course they have these slides over here. They're the black and orange slides. They're really fun to go into as well. They're just body slides up here, this uh, orange one, the black one. This uh, green and blue is Krakatau going back and forth. But yeah, I'm excited to get on some water rides today. It's like really the first Saturday that it's actually been really nice and warm, like a high of 87, I believe. So I think that's why it is very crowded today. But um, 
really excited because it's really nice and warm weather here. I'm sorry, there's a lot of people screaming right now. Um, but very, very soon, we're gonna be where it's very cold in Paris. In Paris, even though it's spring right now, it's like low 50s, 40s there. I think the low is like 34. It's been in Paris lately, so it's gonna be quite a little bit different for me to go from like 80 degrees weather here in Florida, in Orlando, all the way to Paris where it's like cold. So hopefully we won't get sick while we're there. Um, but we're gonna be packing lots of warm clothes because we're gonna be outside walking around. But we should be used to be walking around because we walk so much here at the parks, Disney, Universal and things. So we're used to walking a lot. Um, but yeah, walking nonstop to all the museums that I have planned. And then of course we are going to Disneyland Paris as well. So walking shouldn't be too hard for us, but the cold weather will be. So it'll put a toll on us for sure. But I'm excited about that. So don't forget to subscribe for more upcoming videos about our trip to that. We're so excited. So we came back into the volcano. So behind me over here is where Bowl is and all those fountains. And then we're going down the ramp. So going down the ramp this way, over here, Ball in the fountain. Going down this tapu tapu right here. Do not miss this tapu tapu. It is so beautiful. So watch this. You put your little tapu tapu, your little wristband that everybody gets once you go in the park. Tap it. Maybe. And then just step back so you can see all of it. This is not even all of it. It just keeps growing and growing and it is beautiful. And there's little tiny chimes in the background. It goes up there as well. And then it just fades away. It's beautiful. So don't miss this one as you come in through the volcano. This is fabulous. All right, so we're continuing to go down. And so you can go over this way. And then there's this little peaking thing here. This was closed the last time I came. They have construction walls over here. They even had this pool blocked off back here as well. But yeah, so they have another tapu tapu over here and it is open, so let's try it. Tapu it in and make some water squirt out. And then they have this little joystick that you can move it around. Oh, oh yeah, there it goes, it's moving. I was like, it wasn't moving. But yeah, you can see a little squirt of water where you can get the little people down below. But there's nobody in this pool down here. Nobody. Nobody at all. And it's even blocked off. You can see the little buoys up here. You can see past the this black screen here. But yeah, there's not a single person in this pool over here at all. And it's not deep. It's only three feet. So there we go. Maybe I can see it closer that way. Yeah, nobody in it at all. All right, so now we're going to the right of that little tapu tapu. And this is so fabulous. I love this area. So we're gonna go over here and you go behind the waterfalls. So we came back here with a good thing Waterfalls. And we're gonna come out this way because I didn't want to go under the waterfall and get my camera wet. So we're going to go the opposite direction. So we're going to go back in. Uh, not totally going inside the volcano. We wanted to go around the front so we could get some good views of the wave pool. So you just go right out and then come right back around this way. And then you can get some really good views of the wave pool, of the volcano and uh, all the water coming off. It's nice. Look. It's beautiful. It's like I'm on a tropical island. You have these mountains right here behind me. And the water just swirls around in the middle and it keeps going down. And then there's a big bell up here at the top as well. There's the bell. There are these three characters pouring the water into the center. And then it just keeps come pouring down. 
So it's just fun. You can come out here, enjoy the views of the Lazy River. Not the Lazy River, enjoy the views of the wave pool. So the wave pool is not going right now. So over here we have Cabana Bay. It is giant, so it's all the way, all of that is Cabana Bay. Beautiful hotel, we love staying there. So close, you can just walk over here. So nice. So very convenient. Oh, and over there is where our favorite pool is, just because it gets so deep. We love swimming, so. And then over here, it's like, the kids don't really like the waves, but that pool is deep, but no waves. So we can really swim and go under the water and just have fun. And then right there, you see that clear tube. So that is from the biggest body slide here at Volcano Bay, where you go right out of the volcano, which we have never done because we're scared. But we do like to go over there and watch other people go down there and have some fun. So yeah, over here, we have the beautiful volcano. And just look at that, all the beauty, all the fabulousness on this fabulous March day here in Orlando at Volcano Bay. Beautiful weather. We did make sure to wear our sunscreen today because this is like one of the very first like actually hot sunny days that we've had in a long time. So hopefully none of us get burnt. We'll have to reapply stuff a couple times. But yeah, this is beautiful. This is so much fun. I can't wait to actually get into the water. Yeah, it is going to be a great time today with our family. We're having a great time here so far, even though I've not actually gotten in the water yet. Brayden has gotten in the water with the kids. I think they went to the Lazy River. And I'm about to put my camera away in the locker so I can tell you some about the prices and sizes of the lockers for those. And then I'm going to hop in the water with them too, so I'm so excited. Um, so we'll I cannot take the camera with me on the ride, but um, maybe later on I'll have the camera into the Lazy River. So I'm excited. Let's go have some fun. So they just started the dong and then, then the music. So this is telling everybody the waves are about to start. And they're usually they start waving their hands up and down, up and down. No one's doing that. But the waves are going to start. There they are, there's the waves. All right, so I wanted to show you exactly where we were. So we just walked along this pathway outside. That's where those little fountains were. And then you can go inside the volcano right here with all of the water. So you had to go under the water to go back inside the volcano there. So you cannot walk all the way around. So just about halfway to here, just from like over here to there. So not even along the back side. And so that's one of the four entrances and exits that you can walk around inside the volcano there. And then inside there are slides, there's balls, there's those little fountains shooting up and some tapu tapu points that you can go in there as well. So many fun things to do in and around this volcano, but now it is time for us to put everything into a locker and go have some actual fun for ourselves. So let's go. Cannot forget about this tapu tapu either. So this is right here by the wave pool, super fun one. So tapu, put it on. I had to just squirt that water out of the home shell here. So that's fun. Rinse your feet off from the sand or whatever. Yeah. So it's a little fun one over here. All right, so we made it over here to the lockers and they have three different sizes. This is the smaller one. So for these rentals, you hold your tapu tapu wearable to the tap point below, insert your card for the payment, it will open and place your items and you close the door. You can go back to your locker just by holding your tapu tapu next to it and oh no hold your tapu tapu here and then it will open your locker and you can use it all day long and reopen it as often as you want during your stay for today oh and this is if you want to get multiple lock walker multiple tapu tapus rent a locker using 
tap to tap a wearable, select link button to the touch screen, follow the instructions. Oh, you can have up to four on here. All right. So like I said, they have four, three different sizes. They have the smaller ones. They have family size, which is $25. These behind me are the family size ones. So you see like how large these are. They have regular ones, which are over here. See, these are the regular size, a little bit smaller. So family size is 25, regular is uh, 20. And then the little smaller ones is going to be $14, I believe she said, which I just have my little bag here with my cameras in it and my phones and things like that. So I think we're just gonna get the smaller one for today. So we're gonna show you how we can use a uh, rental locker. And it's all self-serve. You don't even have to go up to the front. They do have uh, team members up there if you have any questions, but I just asked and she's like, it is self-serve. Just go on up and rent the lockers that you want. I also wanted to mention that I have these lights along the top of the lockers. If it is red, that means there are no more lockers of that size available, but if it's green, they do. So here they are. This is the lights that I'm talking about. So it's green, so they still have lockers of this type available. So, and, uh, we went to the other locker place and we wanted a mini locker because that's really all without the space that we really needed and they didn't have any available so we came back to the other locker rental place and they do have some space available so that's what we're going to use today all right so i'm back getting my stuff out of the locker now but i just wanted to show you like, even though these are the smallest ones they're actually pretty spacious and there was plenty of room for what we had so here's what the size are so inside nadia has her uh, her Crocs, her shoes, and her cover-up. We have a phone. Then I had my the whole bag in here with my phone, my camera, all my cards, and extra batteries, and my uh, my whole camera was in here um, that I'm using right now to film. So, I mean, plenty of space really in here. It goes pretty far back in there. So, probably at least a foot and a half, maybe? I don't know. So, like. All right. So, yeah. To the length of my elbow. From, like, tips of my fingers to my elbow. It was that whole big distance. So, I mean, it's a pretty big distance. All I had to do was taboo taboo on this little card here and then I could open it and close it as many times throughout the day and pretty good deal. <laughs> All right, so we had a great time over at Volcano Bay today. Uh, we just spent a few hours there and, and now it's time to go home. We're already in the parking garage, took the bus back over here, cram packed in the bus today and very tired, even though we didn't spend like a whole lot of time there. Um, but we had a good time, got the Lazy River. Um, my family got into the fast one, I didn't. Well, they also did one of the family slides, but it was still a good time and my energy is drained. <laughs> it's like, you know, you had a great time when you look crazy like this, right? And I'm like, oh my goodness, what's going on? I don't know. We had a great time at Volcano Bay and don't forget to hit the like button for this video and subscribe for more upcoming videos. It's your family time.